Hey, uh, one one more thing. Uh, many people, as I said, many people are just uh, writing this recursion, but they are not really uh, benefiting from dynamic programming since you. Where is the diagram? As I said, you have this kind of diagram: one uh, one white and two black, and you have this one. Okay. one white and two black. Of course, the, those two are uh, the same uh, thing: p of uh, I don't know number of one uh, of white, number of uh, blacks, and number of steps. For example, in this case, there is one step. So you calculate this one uh, two times, and you don't really have to. Python can can help you, and it is nice to know that Python can help you in a traditional way. You can do dynamic programming, so you have some kind of uh, big uh, table uh, that you initialize to I don't know none, and then you. Uh, But of course, once you uh, <laughs> write things like this, uh, a lot, a lot of times it starts to get boring. And Python has a really nice uh, decorator that is not really well known, and I would like to promote its usage. So I will, I will do it right now. You can just write uh, from func tools import all. L R U cache. It is probably the worst name in Python standard library for whatever. Uh, it is it is made by Raymond Hettinger, which is who who was really interested about the, the various uh, implementations uh, of, of those caches uh, and various uh, parameters for tweaking. So the, the name simply remained. But uh, if if he was uh, re, uh, renaming it now, he would probably just call it. Memoization is is the simply the accepted jargon in the programming world for this. But um, what it is, of course, we can rename it. Okay, so uh, you just you write your function as you intended to. So you just say calculate something with params. And return something. You 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 only do this. All the other things are uh, handled by this. Uh, so you you need to have the maximum size of a cache, but you 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 don't actually need to. You can you can say none, so you can uh, it will. Bounds, but it is it is nice if you if you know how how large the cache do you, do you expect to be then you can simply write the the, the the cache size and it will work it will work magically it will it will of course it will decorate your function so it is called only when uh, those params with which uh, it is called are uh, not in the memo in the cache table. And whenever they are, it will not call your f. It will it will simply return them from from table. And it it really really helps to write write things like. And this. do we have like any that. limits for params? Like, can we can we use any params for caching or uh, like any yeah, type? Of course, um, cache cache is as I said, cache is simply a dictionary. So the, those params must be hashable. They they must be Hash usable yeah. as keys in the dictionary. Okay. But this is. This is mostly the, the the only the only restriction. Okay. So, uh, uh, let me let me just finish with this one. Of course, uh, regards to Fibonacci. Of course, it is the, the most stupid solution, and it will it will simply be uh, uh, easily easily seen. If uh, n is less than two, then return n. Else. Uh, Return uh, of n minus one plus n minus two, 
And then I uh, simply call it. And then I wait. <laughs> See, I, I wait. And if I say 35, then I wait uh, longer. And if I say 40, I will probably not uh, not wait enough to see it. And it is it is it is simply bad. It is it is stupid, and it, of course nobody writes it this way. But but it is it is nice to 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 see how how Fibonacci is calculated. It doesn't have to be implemented this way. And of course it, it doesn't. You can just say from functals import. Uh, And you can uh, simply insert. Yes. And you write your function in, in the same way. And you call. Oops. Uh, OK, so you, you have you have to, to be aware of the recursion depth, of course, but More than 37. Yes, of course, but uh, what is the recursion limit? It says 327. Uh, it's a thousand, of course. I, could, mm, I, I, I know the idle is written in Python, and of course, those are stack traces below the, that stupid Fibonacci call, but I, I, I was really. I was really hoping that I could get to eight, uh, 800. Mm. Oh, well, but this is not uh, important. Uh, what is important that, is that I can, I can now actually calculate those Fibonacci numbers without, without uh, waiting. Right. And I can also, if I, if I, I wanted to, I can, uh, oh, this I can call this special method cache info that will do the same to me. You have uh, 399 hits, uh, 401 misses. Uh, you don't have a maximum size, and you have a current size of 401. So you you can you can optimize your parameters for the cache if you if you really want. <laughs>